Dhaka, a place of belonging. We wander through all the meshing streets, away from where the once dead Ganges flows. We see grief and traces of misdeeds floating on the crowd in every space that arose. The rickshaw puller paddles from dawn till night, barely any breaks in between. He pulls and pulls going beyond his might, but his worries go unseen. The hawker walks by the narrow path beside the rickshaw his livelihood blocked by the hands of law, a police baton here, a syndicate there, pulling his van of goods along, he hides his tears. The son of the house, she wakes up before everyone, cooking, cleaning, dusting, Home is her working space. More than a living place to her, she must get everything done. She maintains the home like a manager. She lives in the home like a master. Her home is her living space. Her home is her working space. Her space is her home. Her home is her everything. Where is the love of the mother for her child? Where is the playground for children to play? It's a city where the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. In this city, a mother can see her own child sitting on someone else's lap eternally. Oh dear Dhaka, why do you have to be so brutal to the poor? Can't you hear the mother's heart beating against the cage? Let the cage break, set free the mother to love her child, set free the dark to become the light of joy to the poor. They say reading broadens the intellect, or so the student was taught to believe, yet fact and fiction collapsed in a dreadlock, the mind unmoving in perpetual standstill, frozen as firm as the traffic gridlock, countless calculations she anticipates to make, the future of her scholarship lies at stake, but the stagnant mind in this grey city rots away, as fragile as the polluted trees overhead sway. The brothels of this city celebrate Shabe Bharat in an everlasting hope for change. But alas, both the Cartesians and the children know, scape from the wave of misery will remain out of range. We walk through this shiny city, rotten at its core, 
listening to all the filth and curses it bore. Through the mud, through the smog, we walk through the fear, scribbling down the screams of every grave we near.